this video, I am going to show you guys how you can use ExploreLearning.com to practice with your students on building four different kinds of graphs. Those graphs that we're going to explore are the bar graph, the line graph, the pie chart, and the scatter plot. The first um, section of the video is going to be on the bar graph. So, we've chosen the animal speed data, and it gives us a description down here at the bottom that says that the data shows how fast various kinds of animals can run. And we're instructed to create a bar graph to represent this data. Will be about. So it gives us the option to either create a graph or create a table. So we're going to go ahead and choose create graph. And then we have the option of choosing the type of graph that we want to do. In this case, we're going to do a bar graph. So now we're going to go ahead and put our title in and we're going to label our axis. After we do that, we're going to go ahead and adjust our um, y-axis to um, go along with our information. So our highest y value is 112. So we're going to go ahead and make our um, y-axis greater than 112 so that those particular points can fit on the graph. After adjusting our axis, we're going to go ahead and just drag our bars to match up with the information in the table. Now while I'm adjusting the bars, I'm going to show you a little bit of information about what the show instructions tab means and what the show value tab means. The show instructions tab, um, when you click it, it shows all of the different things that are supposed to be completed. So it says you can create a title, label the axes, etc. The show values tab actually allows you to see the specific values as you are adjusting your bars. Uh, I'm going to show you an example of that in the next video. So after you have adjusted your bar graph, it allows you to actually check and it gives you a score. Here we have a 97%. Maybe you want to adjust the bars to make that higher. Um, you don't have to, but it just gives you that opportunity to do that. So now we're going to move on to the next type of graph, which is a line graph. Now you can continue to click new. It, it gives you the option to choose the information. Matthew! We're going to choose something that the students may be interested in. So in this case, I chose a workout um, kind of data. So we're going to go ahead and put our title in. We're going to label our axes. And then we're just going to um, line our points up so that it matches the data in the table. So you can see in this video, we actually selected the show values tab. And because we selected the show values tab, it shows you the number as you are adjusting it. Wow.
over here. So you see, once we click show instructions, it kind of it tells you all of the things that you were supposed to do. But now we're going to go ahead and unclick everything, and we're going to set. So it shows us that we hit 100 percent. The next type of graph we're going to create is a pie chart. So, with the pie chart, it displays differently, obviously, because it's a pie chart. So, we're going to go ahead and type in our title. We're going to click the show instructions. And then we're just going to go ahead and adjust our pie chart to fit our values. Once we have adjusted it, we're going to check it, and you can actually export this data into an Excel document. So that's pretty cool if you wanted to use the data outside of um, the lesson or maybe distribute it to the kids. Um, so that's a nice option that we have. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to our um, scatter plot. We're going to go ahead and click show instructions and it lets us know all of the things we we're supposed to do. Now, this is really great to get the kids in the habit of practicing and knowing what to do, but after a while, they can start doing it without clicking the show instructions and kind of know what to do just from habit. So, that's the whole point of getting them um, to practice and to get in the habit of creating and building graphs. So we're going to go ahead and put in our title and we're going to label our axes. Now we're going to start plotting the points on the graph, which is going to take a while. Um, but you see we have the show value so that we can be accurate in the tenth precision. And once we have put all the graphs on the, put all the points on the graph, we're going to check it and we'll see how we did. So let's see how it goes.
After adjusting and fixing the point um, to make the graph more accurate, um, that'll be all. Um, but hopefully this was a great video and um, very helpful. And hopefully you um, realize the usefulness of the tool. This is very useful with my students. And um, it really helped them to practice building line graphs, bar graphs, scatter plots, and pie charts. So hopefully you will be able to implement this tool in your classroom as well. Um, it's, it's at explorelearning.com and it is a gizmo. So you just go ahead and you type in graphing skills and this gizmo will come up. You launch it um, and then it's ready for you. And you can use it as well as your students. So hopefully this is a great tool for you.